everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be mounting my newest finished product. It's called Region and I think this is a 5D diamond painting. It is a 30 by 40. Now let's face it it's actually Harry Potter. It's Hedwig with Harry Potter glasses and I am going to be put, putting this in my portfolio. Now I do have a full tutorial about how I mount diamond paintings in one of my portfolios so I'll kind of be glossing over uh, the products I use because they haven't changed so this is the insert that we'll be adhering the diamond painting to and it'll go on here about like that so let's get started The first thing I do is I trim off the border and if you have been watching me for a little bit you'll know that while I do have an X-Acto knife I don't usually use it because I don't trust my cutting abilities to not slice my hand in the process. That's just me. And I'm just getting as close to the diamonds as possible. Now, a pair of scissors can cut through the diamonds, so you do need to be a little careful. I do like these smaller projects because it's, well, it's diamond paintings version of instant gratification. Also, they are a nice break from my really big projects. So I like to kind of space them out. So now that we have the border done, the next step is to put the adhesive on. And I have a very fancy piece of equipment for that. It is a computer paper box. So I put it in the box like so. Now it's actually highly recommended that this adhesive is used outside. So don't be me. But give it a very liberal spritz. And I have actually forgotten to put my gloves on. Which means my manicure is going to love me. in the center as possible. I'm the only one that sees this, so I don't have to be absolutely perfect, but we like to get it as close as possible. Then we just roll it. Now, as I said in my portfolio video, 
I do not seal the diamond paintings I put in my portfolios. I just don't know why. I just don't. It saves time. Alright, so now comes the fun part. We have to decorate it. And to decorate. I use washi tape. And let's see here. What color are we going to do today? There are highlights of this purple, so I think I'm going to do this one. And for the washi tape, I do use an exacto knife. Because I am not going to slice my hand for this one. So I just simply too far under the diamonds. Put it right on the edge of the diamonds. This is not holding the diamond painting on. That's what the adhesive is for. This is just a decorative border. And washi tape is very forgiving. the exacto knife is I'm actually just placing the blade onto the surface and using the tape to basically cut itself and just basically holding it down with the blade and ripping the tape all right so there we have it And I actually think that border looks pretty good. Now what I also do is I just take the Mod Podge roller and roll it over the washi tape just to make sure it adheres. So, yep, there we go. And I'll show you what it looks like in the portfolio. This is my small portfolio. It's where I put my small diamond paintings. And just 
simply slide this in. Artwork is protected. I really did enjoy doing this diamond painting and I can't wait to go back and look through this and see all the pretty paintings I've done. So that is it. If you enjoyed this type of content, want to know more about the diamond painting world, or just enjoy time lapse videos and arts and crafts, hit the subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget the like button. I'll see you guys next time.